If you haven't had time to crack open a book this summer, don't worry. We have a great selection of August books to choose from. Here to give us the rundown is Brian Uecker from the Book Nook and Java Shop in Montague. Welcome, Brian. Thanks, Sasha. So you have wonderful five books to give us a rundown about. And the first one is an adult fiction. Yeah, it's going to be our book club book for next month. Mm -hmm. It's On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous. And I love the title, and the uh, author is of Vietnamese descent, and it's basically a letter to his mother who can't read, but it's, it gives a whole history of their, um, it, it's somewhat autobiographical, but he's a poet, so the writing is just, is Phenomenal. gorgeous. <laughs> sure. Yeah, just, uh, it's just beautifully written and very poignant, and uh, there's a rel revelation at the end, of which I won't spoil, but yeah, yeah oh. it's great. It's one of the most anticipated books in 2019. Tw right, yeah. yeah. And it's his first novel, because he won a bunch of oh. awards as a poet. How humbling, now, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. And then we have another adult book, but well, it's nonfiction. This is nonfiction, mm -hmm. yeah. And this, uh, it's about the, uh, the uh, Treaty of Paris, when uh, Britain recognized the United States as a country, mm -hmm. they gave us the Northwest area, which mm -hmm. includes Ohio, Indiana, uh, Michigan. So it kind of goes into depth about their journey. Yeah. And just so, and in, in after the Civil or not the Civil War, Revolutionary War, the the uh, veterans of that were able to come and settle in these areas. Mm -hmm. So it's the story about all the pioneers that settled this area, the Midwest, yeah. and you know, dealing with bears and wolves and all that Oh kind of yeah, stuff. I'm sure it's just no some extremely roads, dramatic it's just experiences. All forest. <laughs> you know, it's hard to imagine, you know, just all this native or, you know, pristine land. It's amazing know. that that happened. That, you yeah. know, it's, you know, you read about it, but I mean, it's the real yeah. thing. So, and then we have Dragonfly Crystal, which is a more mystical, if you're looking for. Yeah, it's a young adult book. And we had the author, actually, she, the, I, I chose it as a local book because she actually wrote part of this book at the Book Nook. She visits really? visits in the summer, and she would come in every day and order Aww. her latte and mm -hmm. write. And she just presented this book at the Book Nook uh, last week. And it's it's uh, about the dragonfly crystal. And dragonfly is kind of a symbol for children that have uh, cancer. Oh. And so it, it's like the light in the darkness is the symbolism of that. Oh, and so beautiful. all the proceeds of the book go to the, a dragonfly foundation. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And you know, and then going right into some more serious kind of slam poetry is the Poet X. Yes. Uh, and it's interesting that the whole novel, this is a novel too, but it's written in slam poetry. Mm -hmm. So you get the whole story. And the story is about a slam poet. Mm -hmm. Poet. Yes. <laughs> so it's, and I mean, it's very strong language and mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's great for young adults. And then one of my favorites is a children's book about a local kind of mascot. Yeah. So the sport is a dog that became a ship dog. He was uh, lost and uh, the ship Hyacinth adopted him so it would travel the Great Lakes. And it's really, it's really great for kids because it has a, you know, it tells you all the different parts of a mm -hmm. ship and it has the map of uh, Lake Michigan and all the different ports. Yeah. And, and the dog gets to visit all the different ports. And well, it, it's a sweet story. Everyone's got to pick story. it up for their kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah it story. sounds wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Brian, you for bet. stopping by and giving us a rundown. And if you'd like to learn more about all these wonderful books, you can visit our website, 13onyourside.com.